What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. Last time, we were heading back home from Gaul after a glorious victory. There was a lot of chatting, something about an ancient god, blah blah blah, something about not being able to summon gods, even though, you know, we've summoned, even though technically Romulus is considered a god, but hey, whatever. Anyway, so now we're heading out to the Mediterranean to find said ancient god. And fight it. Something. So we're heading to the Shaped Lake. Secret of the Ancient God. God damn it. I'm glad to see that all my efforts have done nothing in fixing this goddamn piece of shit. Let's do this. Alright, Assassins, Sabres, Lancers. We're gonna keep Hector on because I said I would so we can see his Noble Phantasm. Uh, so much so, we're just gonna... There we go. Uh, so I'm not specifically looking for Bonds right now. There we go. Hector, let's have... I don't know who else to bring. So that's the that's the hardest part. Everyone now is pretty much like I just can't ascend or level them, level them with the exception of Hector at this point, because I just don't have the parts or pieces to do it. So everyone's kind of like capped on everyone. I think my lowest level is level thirties, and that's just because of like one star servants. Uh, like even Hector, he could go to level forty. I just don't have the experience to get it for him right now, though I could. So, level is not an issue anymore. I could bring whoever the hell I want. Let's bring Lubu. And leading the front line, let's bring... Uh... It really does bother me that there's only three fucking archers. Though, now... Now, Uriel should be available so I can get her. I kind of wish I had... What is... How do you pronounce... How do you pronounce the other Gorgon sister? Is it Stinno? Stithno? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Someone let me know how you pronounce that. I want her, though. And I don't care before anyone starts saying, She's useless. You don't fucking need her. I don't give a shit. I want her. I want to make a Gorgon team. I want Uriel, Stith, however you pronounce her, and Medusa all on one team. I don't give a shit if it's practical or not. If it isn't obvious, I don't exactly give a shit about practicality. I give a shit about having fun. Let's bring uh, down, because why not? Section 9, Secret of the Ancient God. That was some nice win. It was the most aggressive voyage ever. Thank goodness my semi-circular canals were enhanced. If I hadn't become a demi-servant, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yeah. You seem to have gone through an ordeal. I could tell by your vitals. The soldiers couldn't leave the ship either. Poor men. Since the Emperor offered to take the wheel herself, I thought she had impeccable skills. But wait, maybe, just maybe, those were impeccable skills in a sense? I mean, the ship's still standing after such a rocky journey. It also leapt through waves and drifted some turns. It's amazing when you think about it, just what you'd expect of the Emperor. And this is why she materialized as a saber and not a rider. No, don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, come on, Vane. You didn't get mad, did you? Anyways, you landed safely on the rumored island. You should start looking for this ancient god. Wait, maybe we don't have time to look after all. It seems the god is coming to greet us. However, I'm detecting a servant. Be on your guard. What? Another enemy attack? So this island is also under the United Empire's control. No, this is... a servant, but something is off. It's different than normal. What is this? Yes, that's right. I'm not a normal servant. Good day, heroes. 
Welcome to my humble temporary home for this era. The shape dial. That's it though? My oh my. I was wondering what kind of magnificent hero was here. But to my surprise, it seems there are servants in your group. Unfortunately, I was waiting for human heroes. This presence... What in the world? Can this even be possible? Her reading is definitely like a servant, but different. Is she the ancient god? An immeasurable divinity level. Without a doubt, she's definitely a god. No, a goddess. Then we can summon gods! You're a liar! <laughs> That's right. I am a goddess. My name is... I didn't think this would be put to the test already. Sithno. Sithno? Sithno. Sith... Sith no. Sith no. I don't know. I'm gonna butcher this all through this chapter. I hope you guys don't mind. One of the three Gorgon sisters, though I rather dislike being called an ancient god. But it's fine. It's true that where you're from, I am a past god. You may call me whatever you wish. After all, Time is irrelevant when it comes to my beauty. You look, like, you look like a little girl. Beauty is not the first thing I'm drawn to. I'm actually drawn to how kind of... I wasn't... I was going to say boring, but it's not the word I want to use. How similar Uriel and you are to each other. I know you're supposed to be sisters, but... No, it's kind of boring that you both kind of look very similar. Not the exact same, but very similar. I'm kind of sad that Medusa is the standout one out of you guys, but granted, she's also the most popular of the Gorgon sisters, because let's be honest, how many people randomly through the course of knowing a tiny bit of Greek mythology know that there was more than one Gorgon, <laughs> or that there was a group of sisters? Because, uh, I'll tell you this, I didn't know until I played God of War, because... I had never read a story that talked about anything except for Medusa. Anyways, that said. Servant of divine spirit, not a heroic spirit? Doctor, this is different from what we talked about. Y yeah, I guess everything has an exception. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Why, yes, that bugs me. Uh oh, this is unheard of. A divine spirit servant. Furthermore, one of the ancient Greek gods. That's an authentic god. <laughs> and what the hell am I? Chop liver? Is that possible? She's actually standing before you. Even so, there's no way she can remain as a god. Why is that in quotations? I mean, it's the same for heroic spirits. Her power must have been downsized. Gods no longer have authority on this land, if that's the case. Aren't you the knowledgeable one, mage? That's right. You are not mistaken there. However, there's one thing you should remember, pure one. W what's that? Or what is it? To think a goddess would personally instruct me. Oh, what a wonderful voice. It has a nice sound to it. I would love to see your face, but... Such a shame. You're in a place where even my eyes can't reach. If you were in my arm's reach, I'd have done... <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'd have done something nice to you in the wink of an eye. I'm just taking this all in. I think she just offered a hand job. Whoa! I just had shivers down my entire body. This presence is different than Dark Jean. Well, yeah, Dark Jean was fucking evil. 
Oh, that's just your imagination. Allow me to inform all of you clueless people. Not all gods are powerful. Myself... Myself... And I? I'm gonna need some clarity on this. Are quite feeble beings. Why is feeble in quotations? Even Mash is confused. Based on the readings, you are quite an individual. So that... So does that mean you're not hostile because your combat abilities are low? There are goddesses who are never asked to fight. For instance, you over there. You mean me? You are one such, no. Your power is not to kill, but to protect. It is. <laughs> I do like honest girls. I'd like to pamper you like I do my little sister. That's Medusa, right? She's the young sister, right? I think that's how that works. Just then made more ironic that she's the tallest one of them. This game makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I just got a shiver. <laughs> I had a shiver too. Wait, I'm detecting another presence on the beach. Oh my. How dare they interrupt an emperor and a goddess. Who are they? From the United Empire? No, they're just ghosts, but they are closing in. Let's drive them off. Yes, Senpai, commencing interceptive combat. Well, I didn't expect to uh, meet a Gorgon on this island. I'm actually kind of, well, fairly disappointed, to say the least. Oh, well. Such is life, as they say. Uh, I'm ten minutes in. I haven't even started uh, the first fight. Ow! Hello, Lubu. Oh, great. I'm glad to see this is... Uh, this is not a beach at all. All right. All right. So back, uh, back, back, back at work. We're back at work, people. All right. Uh, I should actually probably figure out what some effect or skills do. Uh, for that. Okay. I have confirmed, confirmed skill use. There we go. Increase allies, uh, in peace strength. Medium chance to inflict stun. All right. Interesting. There we go. I do, I do want to see Hector's Noble Phantasm at some point before the end of this mission. Uh, whether or not I've got to burn a uh, command spell for that uh, is irrelevant. Because, frankly, uh, you know, it's a command spell. You get one, like, back every 7 p.m., technically. So I'm not going to be... Whoops. There we go. That broken up by it if, uh, if I've got to spin one here. But uh, so far, it looks like we're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, definitely, because we just got... There we go. Looks like me Hector's Noah Phantasm. Boom. And Dayon's going to completely waste that guy. All right, we can see Hector's Noah Phantasm. Um, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> He'll probably look at that in a second. All right, let's take a look. Hector. Noble Phantasm is called... Durandana? Okay. Uh, that might mean more to me if I actually knew who the hell you were. I'll leave the comment section telling me that. Um, I noble phantasm damage and let's go to work. All right, Dayon, do you think you can charm the undead? Apparently, yes. <laughs> that was legitimately cool. 
Uh, it's uh, not as cool as some of the later segments, but that was that was still pretty cool. That that seems like a finisher move for a uh, common rider or something. So seems like some uh, that seems like something I'd see out of Gokai Silver for his uh, final wave. All I've got to do is overlay final wave on top of that. Final wave. And not have my voice crack a thousand times while saying it. That would also probably help. There we go. That may give me enough for... Uh, there we go. I was going to say, may give me enough for Lu Bu's Noble Phantasm. I don't know what his Noble Phantasm... Uh, like. I know on the wiki they've documented like literally how much Noble Phantasm they'll gain for like every single like arts card thing or bonus and stuff like that. I'm just like, man, that is way more shit than I will ever need to know about this game. I know people will probably be like, oh, it gets real stupid fucking hard near the end. You won't have to be able, you won't be able to rely on all your stupid fucking bullshit then. I'll deal with that when that comes around. Uh, thankfully, no one's actually told me that yet. I, I think a couple people have said like, oh man, like, you got that card. I've been doing well with this card. I'm like, that's great. Good for you. You've been doing it without a card, but I just can't use it. Oh, that's right. That's a single target attack. I don't know why I keep thinking God Force is a, uh, is a, uh, all target attack. I theoretically, it fucking should be, but whatever. Wow, I didn't... I don't want to jinx myself. I didn't stutter at all during that fight. Huh. Away! Stop leaving me out of the conversa... Er, no. <clears throat> anyway, stop leaving me out of the conversation. I get the gist of what you're saying. That goddess isn't our enemy, right? Right. I'm assuming that's the case. Hmm. In that case, isn't it simple? Ancient goddess Snithno, come to Rome. I am Rome, the fifth emperor of the Roman Empire, Nero Claudius. I shall accept you as a new god. Let us defeat the United Empire together. No. The fuck do you mean, no? <laughs> I just want that to be the next sentence. Well now, how dazzling you are. As much as Apollo, but I'm sorry, your majesty. I am not suitable for combat. Now that I've taken on the form of a servant, I do have some skills and basic functions, but... I don't possess the power to fight valiantly like my younger sister. Yeah, definitely gonna assume she's talking about Medusa. What? I said I don't have the power. Heart. You'll get stabbed in the back if you don't stop being insensitive. Sorry, I get it. She's more the type of goddess who hunts her prey, I guess. How did you interpret that from anything she just said? No, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> but you are a hero who came all the way here. I should give you a reward. Though back in the day, I would have incited Medusa. Incited? Thank you, Nero, for asking the exact same question I just did. Did you say incited? Ahem. <laughs> Never mind. I'll give you a goddess's blessing. I'm gonna have to go Google what incited means. Yo, future me! You listening? Probably not, you probably skipped over this, but if you remember in the future, write down what the fuck incited means. As you walk along the coast, you'll find an entrance to a cave all the way in the back. I prepared a treasure. It doesn't exist in nature. It's something special. It's my rape dungeon. What? 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 I'll give it to you because you're fun. 
<laughs> I don't usually reward someone like this. Well, a goddess's blessing, that's really... It's interesting. It could be the Holy Grail. Let's be honest, it's not. It doesn't match up with Cass... Er, not, I keep wanting to say... I see C-A and I just assume it's saying Caster. Caesar's information. That said, I think there's still a chance. I don't care what kind of treasure it is. I try to love everything. Alright then, let's head for the cave now. I assume this is probably also where Stithno's, uh... Oh yeah, that popped back up because I closed it because I was resetting my router. Fly! Not away! 